how to get traction after the media says no. It's time for an advanced lesson in PR. What happens when you can't get traction for a story no matter how hard you try? Or worse, when journalists turn to you and say, that's not a story. When this happens, it's time to redefine the narrative. In journalism and PR, the story narrative is crucial to success. Without a strong narrative, there will never be a media placement, regardless of how many contacts you have in your Rolodex. During my years as a news producer with CBS and NBC, there were many times I pursued a story only to discover it wasn't as good as I thought in the beginning. The story changed. When this happened, we had two options, kill the story or salvage it. In the early stages, like in your initial pitch to a reporter, it is very easy to kill the story. But when money has already been invested in the story and elements have been shot in TV, you have to salvage it. As an executive producer with NBC Special Projects, I oversaw a very large production budget that funded our unit. At the time, GE owned NBC, and as every shareholder knows, you come under budget or you get fired, at least with GE. There were many times when I approved a story idea and we invested money into the production, only to discover halfway through the story wasn't there. That's when we had to put on our creative hats and think of a way to salvage the story. I recently had to salvage a story with a real estate PR client. I was asked to promote a residential property that was on the market for $48 million. I assumed this high-end property would have gold fixtures and marble floors, but when I visited the property, I saw it was really a fixer-upper. I knew I couldn't position this property as a voyeuristic view into the wealthy lifestyle. No reporter would want to see a rundown building, so I redefined the narrative. The new story became, take a look at a $48 million fixer-upper. Then I redefined my media pitch into what everyone believes. You would think $48 million would come with gold fixtures and marble floors, but you won't see any of that in this property. Only in New York where $48 million buy you a fixer-upper. The new narrative was such a hit that we had the New York Post and the New York Daily News asking for an exclusive. We went with the Daily News after they guaranteed us a huge splash in the real estate section. So how can you apply this to your business? Next time you can't get traction with the story, redefine the narrative. Sometimes the real story is better than the original story. And when that happens, use it to your advantage, like we did with the Daily News. Sometimes the real story is better than the original story. When that happens, use it to your advantage. Turn around the story and sell the more interesting angle than what you originally believed.